Well, as we talked about at the top of the show, Girl Scout Diamonds of Arkansas, <laughs> Oklahoma, and Texas are kicking off the 2024 cookie program very soon. Sarah is here to share more. Thank you for being here, Sarah. Thank and you. Thank you for cookies. Those cookies. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yes. laughs> what do Girl Scouts get out of participating in this cookie program each year? Girl Scouts get a lot of things out of participating. So it is a part of our entrepreneurship pillar. So they learn to set goals. They learn financial literacy. They learn to set budgets and they get people skills out of it as well. But then there's also the revenue that comes in and that all stays local and so part of that revenue goes to the girls and what they're doing so maybe they're setting a goal because they want to go camping or they want to go to silver dollar city or they want to buy all of their badges and go to summer camp they, they can set any goal that they want to with that money and then some of the money also goes to supporting our summer camps and supporting those properties and making that an affordable experience for our members yeah. and for non-members. Yeah, yeah absolutely. for sure. And you've been at this for a while. How have you seen this <laughs> program and the Girl Scouts in general impact the lives of girls across the region? I've seen girls grow in what our vision is, is encourage confidence and character. So by getting out and speaking to people in a safe space, they learn to interact. And also I've seen leadership growth. So it is a leadership program first and foremost. So I grew up in the program, which I think set me on a trajectory to being a leader. I am the program director now for Girl Scout Diamonds, but I see that in my girls as well. They move up through the program. They start as a middle schooler learning okay. how to work with younger girls and to plan things and to take leadership all the way through becoming a counselor or leading a troop or leading a student organization. It doesn't have to be leadership within Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. They take those skills that they learn in Girl Scouts and they're easily transferable to other aspects of their life. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Let's talk about when cookie season kicks off. Yes. When does that happen? It kicks off tomorrow, oh. <laughs> January what? 12th. So oh, nice. we've got our pre-sales that start. So if you know a Girl Scout, she's going to have an order form, mm -hmm. the traditional order form that she can write down your order. But I know some winter weather's coming in. That's sure. okay. You can order online. Ask her to send you her digital cookie link. We know how important mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. sales are yeah. in today's right. economy. So that's part of our program is girls learn how to set up their own store. And to do that, they have digital cookie. And when you do that, that you can select either have a girl delivery to, to you or to have it shipped. And then the last way that you can purchase Girl Scout cookies is through cookie booths. And February 23rd is when our booths kick off. You can find our booths around the area at mm -hmm. girlscoutsdiamonds.org. And there's a little sign that'll say cookie finder. You put in your address and find a cookie booth near you. I'm telling you, when cookie booths happen, it is so hard to go to the store <laughs> and leave empty handed. Without, yeah, without because the girls are out there and they are working so hard. I mean, they're doing such a good job. and. I can't say no to them. Yeah. Um, so I, I usually get lots of cookies, and that's fine because I eat all of them. <laughs> yes. Speaking of cookies, you brought some, and I, did. And, and I heard there's like new names for some of them, yes. and you've got some new cookies so as well. So we've got your, your favorites. Yeah. We have the Thin Mints, and then if you like the other favorites, like Tagalongs, which is the peanut butter chocolate ones, sure. we've got those as well, but they're just called peanut butter patties. We have a different baker, so you're just going to see different names. Sure. They're still your favorite cookies. Okay. But we have some new to our region cookies, first and foremost being the Toastiers yes. okay. up here. Yes. We were talking about that. Yes. I love lemonades and Toastiers. Yes. <laughs> so I love, those are my two favorites. Yep. I mean, you know, I've got the classics, the shortbread and the thin mint, but the lemonades and these are my favorite. And Amazing. actually, I was having to order them elsewhere and I was like oh man I wish we had them in Arkansas now we, now do. we do so Girl Scouts watch out I already have my girls Grace <laughs> McKenna they're gonna take care of me um, so I'm, I'm ready I'm ready for all my cookie orders so these toastiers say French toast inspired cookies dipped in delicious icing and they are delicious can it get better than that yeah that's great and we also have a gluten-free one as well okay. and a gluten-free one this year is a chocolate chip Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Do you have Love a that. favorite? I do. It's it's these. Yeah. Oh, I am so, so excited. That I was also going to another council to buy these too because I, I love them. They're delicious. You know, get, me, get yourself some lemonades. Yes. <laughs> I like how you set them closest to you as well. Yeah. Just slide those on <laughs> over the table. Stick okay. with me. So tomorrow is the day, Sarah. Tomorrow is the day. Yes. That's yes. great. Yes. 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 Thank you so much Thank for joining so us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. See you. For sure. Stay with